Start with the higher and deeper meditation practice. Mm -hmm. Sit or do you remember Danute, the Polish young woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she has a kind of business. She works what what is it with the light? Is there something in authentic yoga where you the light surrounded by light ah uh, yes 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 you? i think uh, where does it come from they have created uh, their own philosophy uh, an extension of uh, the basic principle that when you awaken in deeper meditation uh, you face the infinite light oh but actually that light represents the wisdom Oh, okay. But definitely uh, in higher premeditation practices, many people visualize, have visions of infinite light. Oh. So, so they, they take up that philosophy. And that comes from authentic yoga? From uh, no, no, not oh. exactly. The authentic yoga has to do with purely pure consciousness. It has to do with awakening to higher consciousness. Yeah. It has to do with the transformation of the mind. Yeah. Not sticking to anything, whether it is a light or any image mm -hmm. or any god or any okay. goddesses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So be comfortable. Make your body comfortable completely adjust and align every part of your body that means eyes are closed gently eyes are closed gently check it become aware adjust and align the neck joint we are becoming or I would say we are moving into the state of becoming comfortable, being comfortable. So, move the mind on the shoulder joints, check, and become aware of the ease and the comfort. As we understood, and practiced last week that we spend little more time in being comfortable, being carefree, and being casual. So we are going slowly every day when you get up in the morning, just Follow these three steps as if you are preparing for higher meditation and then you can start working. You did the first thing, either sitting or lying down. So when you lie down, you are awake and then you move the mind on the neck joint, adjust and align shoulder joints are just in a line, elbows are just in a line, wrists are just in a line, fingers are just in a line, hip joints. So what is happening? You are also waking up the body that was dominated by the unconscious, subconscious mind. Sometimes that by habit causes the anxiety. So we are going deeper and that within five to seven minutes of being comfortable, being carefree and casual, early in the morning, just after you wake up doing the three step and I want to see will follow up 
Move the mind on the hip joints. Be comfortable aligned in your chest. The mind goes to the knee joints. You are there on the knee joints. You are aware. And if there is any discomfort, you can adjust and align. And the ankles and the toes. The entire body. is comfortable. So once you start experiencing a little sensations and the comfort, then we move to the second preparatory step that we do generally in every meditation and that you need to do when you wake up. Only the three steps and then you open your eyes and then you check that, oh, everything is good. Even the three steps will take you out of that anxious moment in the morning. By waking the body too. And now being carefree. So in that moment of being carefree, in the background you are comfortable and being carefree obviously is doing nothing or free from all the cares of the mind. So what happens? The thought comes to you that I have anxiousness. Let them come and let them go. I'm okay. Let them come, let them go. When you get up in the morning, just follow the first three preparatory steps. That will go a long way. <clears throat> and two things. Thought comes. Thought comes only to go. So there is a thought of being anxious. It has come to go. But what happens? Our mind links it to the past. It instantly remembers the moments of anxiety. And then everything returns. So sometimes the mind does not have those anxiety movements. It may be coming from the physical consciousness because of the habit that has been for years. Just do the three steps. And uh, in that state of being carefree, be casual. Being casual, being natural. Being natural and casual means what? It is almost a state of doing nothing, but in the state of awareness and alertness. What is happening in the state of awareness and alertness now? We both hear some sound coming from outside. We both are aware of our respective body. We continue to feel the sensation in the body. And there is an intent deep inside that we are going to proceed to the meditation practice. That's another way to explain and understand being casual. You are just there. You are just comfortable. You are just carefree. So these three preparatory steps, as if you are preparing for your day actions and works in your life. So listen to this preparatory steps again and again and try and start doing on your own every time you get up in the morning. Now let us move into the meditation practice. <coughs> the first step. 
be present on the head and the neck. So your conscious mind moves on the head and the neck. There is a natural attention there and a constant awareness. So we feel we awaken to the sensation, the relaxation, and move the mind on the right arm, move the mind on the right arm, be there. We are just there in the state of being comfortable, being carefree and casual. So what happens? We awaken to the sensation and the relaxation. By default, we sometimes become aware of the space all around the right arm too. And that's a good movement. Move the mind on the left arm. Be there. You are present on the left arm. So when you are present on the left arm, there is a natural ch change in the direction of the mind from outward moving to inward moving towards the body. And that is why this step is in that state of being comfortable, being carefree and casual. And it is amazing to us that we awaken to the sensation that leads to relaxation. Last time we understood this step clearly. You are running very hard to manage your stress or you are running to in the direction of the west searching for the sun. And I say, hey, come on, stop it, turn your face. Oh my goodness, sun is here and now. That is what the step is present on. Present, be present on the rib cage. You are just there. Yes, you are just there. So you awaken to the sensation and relaxation. And be present on the belly. Awaken to the sensation and relaxation. Move the mind on the right leg. Be present on the right leg. You're just present on the right leg and be there. And awaken to the conscious experience of the space, sensation and relaxation. Again, we are telling the conditioned mind that we are not doing anything at all. This conditioned mind always wants to rush, always wants to run. And in that running, it loses the right perception. And when it loses the right perception, the unfounded worries takes over us. What is the unfounded worries? That is how the science explains the anxiety is. So if we say in understanding this practice of meditation, 
We are becoming aware of the mind running fast. By the step, say, be present on the left leg and just be there. So we are telling the mind, I'm just there on my left leg. Indirectly I'm telling, I'm not in a rush. What happens? Your awareness level goes up. Conditioned mind that was in a mode of running drops down. Only those who have been practicing meditation for long can easily understand and experience that state, not the beginners. That's why I say it's a higher and deeper meditation. Higher the meditation, simpler it is. Easy it is, effortless it is, natural it is. Other people can listen to this state, but they cannot directly move to this higher state of meditation unless they are able to separate their conditioned mind by being carefree by and by other practices. If the conditioned mind doesn't want to go. <clears throat> now be present on the entire body. And experience. We may experience the entire body with a sensation and a conscious experience of relaxation. This is transforming. Why this is transforming? We are fully aware that we are not asking the mind to do any effort. And in that state of effortlessness, the higher consciousness takes over the body. It moves down, descends. And that's how we awaken to the sensation, relaxation. Sensation was already there. What happened? The mind became aware and awakened to these sensations. And the closer, the conscious awareness goes closer to the body, it experiences the deeper sensation, turns into tingling, numbness, and occasionally the mind resists gently and we may drop into sleep. No problem at all. The moment you hear me, in that state, return again and continue doing the practice. So there are some barriers, like the, we, the mind falls into unconsciousness. You know, we, we, we talk about I fell in love or I fall in love. So that is falling into lower consciousness. Meditation is... I rise in consciousness. That is, and when you rise in consciousness, you go about the sleep, you go beyond the thinking mind, they are like the traffic on the road, and you are standing across, you actually separate. And sometimes, Previously, the mind was carried away by the thought, but now the mind withdraws when the thought comes and it starts watching with awareness and attention. It's a natural. We cannot say pay, focus. The moment you say pay attention or focus your attention, how the old mind with its conditioning returns. 
and when the old mind with its conditioning returns gradually unknowingly it takes over the entire practice and the mind again returns to the same old habit so that is why I have been talking making you understand the higher the meditation practice simpler it is but the simpler it becomes only when we have been practicing other active meditations and reach to a stage where we are able to separate the conditioned mind and we are able to experience <coughs> I witness awareness is different than the thinking awareness and that is what we are doing now so we move to the next step be present with the head and the neck why we are referring again to the major parts of the body in order to release that unconscious mind from its old impressions so that it remains awake the greater the release naturally higher the practice so move your mind again to the head and the neck <coughs> be there and awaken to the sensation is there relaxation is there and now awaken to the state of the stillness the state of the stillness comes from the higher consciousness. Why we say that? Why the tradition says that? The mind is, is in constant flux. And if the mind, conscious awareness, realizes there is a stillness there, it is only because of the higher consciousness that is how we refer the body in the pra in this step but our goal is to awaken to one of the attributes of the higher consciousness and one of that higher consciousness is stillness not only it is the stillness of the body it is the stillness behind and about this mind and the mind is attracted to that in this practice and if the mind is attracted all of our problems and issues drops because the mind realizes yes there is some state higher and from there the awakening takes place Move the mind on the right arm. Be there. Awaken to the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. We did not create these sensations or relaxation or the stillness. And that is why I repeat the previous experience in this step to help the conscious mind to know that what exists will continue to do so. Only the mind is aware or not. When it is not aware, when it falls into unconscious sleep, when it is carried away by thought and when we have a lot of thoughts there is an influx of the thought so all the three conditions wails the inner state we're not fighting with the thinking mind we're not struggling we're not controlling we're not suppressing 
we are going to have, we are going to behind. Move the mind on the rib cage. Be there. When you are there, you awaken to the sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Move the mind on the belly. Even when you return from the sleep, even if I'm aware, I continue the practice. Why? It goes deep into your subconscious mind. It's continuously listening to it. What will happen after some of the sessions, your subconscious mind will send the masses no time now to fall into conscious unconsciousness be present on the belly the sensation relaxation and the stillness the mind goes to the right leg again it is the revisiting that is what the second step. In the second visit, we found something else. In the first visit, we found, we discovered the sensation and relaxation. As if we are settling down, we revisit, we discover the sensation, relaxation, and also the stillness. It is something like you visit my home and you see something and I ask you to explain. And I realize you missed something and I ask you again, come on, revisit. Become aware and return again to tell me your experience. So what happens? You revisit in this time. You're naturally more aware. You look around, you see everything, and, and, and. You become aware of the stillness. Move the mind on the left leg. Be there. Sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. Move the mind on the entire body from the top of the head to the toes. I even I need not to say from the top of the head to the toes, the mind on its own in that state expands, becomes the body. That is another beautiful principle of the Tantra in the yoga tradition. It explicitly says the mind takes the physical form and the body takes the mental form. And we are helping the conscious mind in the state of sensation and relaxation to take the physical form. What happens? It expands. It becomes the entire body. It awakens to the sensation, relaxation, and the stillness. It is a wonderful state where we may experience tingling, numbness. The body appears as if freezing down, sinking into the floor. Or... Sometimes we feel as if the body is rising up. It's an experience, it's an awareness that tells the mind is leaving the past impressions. It is sinking down, it is still leaving the past impressions, but still it remains stationed in the physical. But when we experience that it is rising, then we have a definite pattern that the mind is rising.
into the higher consciousness. They are the symbolic expression. The mind has to communicate through the visions, through these experiences, to give us the idea of our progress. So now in that state of uh, sensation, relaxation, and the stillness, we live in the present moment. That would be our today's third step. Instead of going for two other steps, we go deeply living in the present moment. Being mindful is generally used here and But what I say to make you understand living in the present moment and being mindful is actually living within. And living within is connected to the source. Connected to the source is living above the conditioned mind. Living above the conditioned mind brings an experience of freedom, inner peace, calmness, happiness. Then the same mind asks how to do it. It is not, you're already in my home and I, you ask me how to move inside your home. And I say, you are here and now. Same thing we apply. What? Live in the present moment with awareness of the space outside the body. And that is how I customize the practices to make you aware Live in the present moment with awareness of the space outside the body and with awareness of the body too. Live in the present moment with awareness of the space, body, and also the awareness of the sensation and the stillness in the body. We are living in the present moment, but I'm qualifying. How I'm qualifying? With the different states of our existence. Live in the present moment with awareness of with awareness of the space all around with awareness of the body, the sensation in the stillness and the movement of the breath. Again, live in the present moment with awareness of the space outside. It is not an effort. With awareness of the body and experience of sensation and the stillness and the movement of the breath, the natural movement of the breath and...
again living in the present moment with a simultaneous awareness with a simultaneous awareness of the space outside Again, you are living in the present moment with awareness, simultaneous awareness of the space outside, body, the sensation in the stillness, in the body, awareness of the movement of the breath, and a glimpse of something deeper within it, maybe a, simply a space, it may be as if we experience nothingness or a sense of emptiness. So there is a simultaneous awareness. That is the key in this step. We explore, we discover in meditation. We don't recondition our, the mind with some image or object or focus. That is why I never use the word focus, never take the help of an image or a mantra because it is higher meditation practices. We have reached to that stage where these things doesn't matter for us. Remain in the present moment with a simultaneous awareness of the space outside and inside and in between we have an awareness of the breath sensation tingling and numbness in the body and we still are aware of the space inside and awareness of the living in the present moment living in the present moment are we doing anything oh, as if we are sitting together not even talking in a room we're not doing anything. So when we are not doing anything, we are aware of the present moment, and then I qualify that present moment with awareness of the space outside, sensation in the stillness, awareness of the breath in the inner space. As you were talking in that state, there comes a moment where we have some kind of wizens, light, naturally. 
why we should focus and condition our mind with some form of thinking of light that may not become the higher meditation practice. It is a discovery. We don't know what's going to happen. We are exploring. We are discovering. You are in that state of simultaneous awareness of all the layers you're living within. You are living in the present moment. You are in meditation. In that state from there, we will, after a couple of weeks, we will explore the four subtle movements of our consciousness, which are known as four different stages in meditation. Viturk, Vichar, Anand, Asmita, Anand, Sampragyat, they are known as the Sampragyat meditation. There is a natural presence of an object during these four stages in meditation. And the more we Awaken to it, the deeper we go. You're not doing anything at all. Um, shanti 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 Om Shanti 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 Take your own time your awareness goes to the right hand. We return in this specific way that helps us to maintain the same state. Mind goes to the right hand, become aware. Become aware of the left hand, left palm. You're already aware. And still, I say it. And slowly raise both your palms. Put it on your eyes. Open your eyes and say, take your time. You're not in a hurry. And know your experiences. Bring the hands down. And how are you? Very good. Yeah. It went deep. It went deep, yes. What did you see in the in that deep? <laughs> did I, you? I don't see anything. Good. <laughs> so that is a sense of emptiness. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. That's a sense of nothingness. <laughs> so that is more powerful. Yeah. I mean, than forcing the mind to see the light yeah. or an image. That is the content of the mind. Uh -huh. So if there is any content of the mind. Mind is already divided. Yeah. So it may be a subtle, deeper state, but it is not 
as deep as this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so <laughs> wonderful. I think this is